The entire city of Boston and several suburbs went into full lockdown as authorities continue to search for the second suspect in the Boston Marathon bombings. Suspect number one was killed during a police shootout early Thursday morning. Authorities have identified him as Tamerlan Zarnayoff. The other suspect, Johar Zarnayoff, known for his white cap, became the subject of a massive manhunt. Uh, to the residents, we are asking you to stay home, stay indoors. We are asking businesses not to open. We're asking people uh, not to go to mass transit. The search was centered on Watertown. Authorities came in by the masses to the town and surrounding areas. CNN's Don Lemon points out the size of the manhunt for the suspect is unmatched. Unprecedented. I've been doing this for 20 some years and I have never seen anything like this. Authorities conducted a door to door search for suspect number two, asking members of the community to only open their homes to police. And that is leading some media outlets to compare the Boston manhunt to recent incidents. And it's a similar message than some Southern Californians heard during the Dorner search in Big Bear when uh, you were told to not leave your home if you were in that area and to not answer the door unless it was a law enforcement personnel. If you'll remember, ex LAPD officer Christopher Dorner was the target in one of the largest manhunts in LAPD history. He was allegedly responsible for killing four people, including police officers and family members. The manhunt ended just a week after it began. Dorner died after authorities located and burned down the cabin where he was holed up. WTTG in D.C. notes the chase for Dorner isn't the only similarity being found in this recent manhunt. A little reminiscent of uh, the D.C. sniper back uh, exactly. right, years ago. Right. We were all on edge and weren't quite sure we could go out. And while the D.C. sniper killings responsible for the deaths of 10 people ensued tremendous fear, in the city local schools took precautionary measures, but it was never fully locked down as Boston is. The search for Zarnayoff is compared to the search for a needle in a haystack, and the lockdown is an effort to keep the whole haystack as safe as possible. For Newsy, I'm Jasmine Bailey. Multiple sources, a broader view.